Hi everyone, it's Jody. Welcome back to The Brilliant Beauty. Be sure to subscribe for new videos like this every week. Alright, let's get started. So some of you guys actually thought this was my natural hair when I posted it on Instagram or maybe I just added some clip-ins for the extra volume and the layers. But this is actually a new type of extension hair from Outre. It's called the Velvet Brazilian Roll-Up Hair. So it's 100% human hair. It's actually a patent pending technology that preserves like the curl and the luster of the hair. And I got a single pack of 8 inches and a single pack of 10 inches. They have other styles as well. You can get like a 36 piece 1 pack solution as well as 44 pieces which is kind of shorter. So I am going to show you guys how to make a U part wig with a layered bob and you do not have to cut the bob. Now for the wig cap I'm using you have your standard dome cap which you can use but this time I'm going to use a stretch mesh cap which it which more fits my small head and it's adjustable so that's what I'm using now and I make sure to protect my my mannequin head with a few wig liners so that when I glue my wefts onto the wig cap it does not stick to the styrofoam I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my straps and cut off the excess although you can do that after you make your wig so now we're ready to make our hot glue gun wig you can get a glue gun from Walmart or any craft store for the back of my hair, I'm using a few of the shorter pieces. I'm just going to lay them facing downward or the curl facing downward. We're just gonna lay on the back of my neck for the back of my bob. Then I'm gonna continue gluing the eight inch pieces with the curl facing down. So the same way on the lower side of my bob. I've already decided where I want my part to be and my bang is gonna lay on my right side, which is your left. So I'm thinking about where I want the hair to lay. I'm gonna add some extra pieces on the bottom to give it a li little bit more volume in the bang area. I placed some of the longer pieces on the side that I want my bang because I realized that when I put my U-part wig on, it shifts a little bit and I need that side to be longer to account for the shift in my wig and just so I don't forget how I made my bang I'm just going to secure the bang while I finish the other side of the wig So while I finish that side, I thought I would show you guys how to sew the hair if you don't want to glue it or you don't have glue and you only have needle and thread. Of course you can sew it on. And I'm using the most basic method. This is great for beginners. Although I do recommend the hot glue gun method if you're first starting out or if you want to save some time or if, you, um, if you're wearing like a quick weave style. But yeah, you can definitely sew it. Now that I finished gluing the hair into a U shape and I finished one side, I'm gonna work on my bang. And the bang is the only side that I modify. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the eight inch pieces and then 10 inch pieces. And I'm gonna cut the hair on this side and place them in like a diagonal direction um, so that the hair can fall kinda in my face. And also the second change I'm gonna make with the bang side is I'm gonna flip the hair so that the curl goes backwards and then I could put another piece where the curl goes frontwards and that creates volume and it also creates the layered effect when you comb the hair back. And I hope you guys can follow me. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. So once you're done with your hair, you're going to cut the excess cap and then install it on your hair like so.
One of the reasons I love a hot glue gun wig or a quick weave is that I can easily customize it to fit my braids once I braid my hair down instead of having to try and braid my hair exactly like how I want the wig to fit or vice versa. So this allows you to just cut off the excess and have your wig fit perfectly every time. And I'm gonna sew in my part area and on the sides. And like I said, since the wig has adjustable straps in the back, the back actually fits snug so I don't need to sew that down. So from here on, I'm just gonna add some finishing touches. I'm gonna flat iron my hair with the extensions to make it blend a little better as well as add some finishing spray or some oil spray to just put some more sheen in my hair to match the luster of the extensions. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. If anything, you can just mute the video and watch what I'm doing. I'm really confident that you guys can achieve this style with no problem even if you're a beginner. And the Altre roll-up hair is pretty inexpensive, so check it out at your local beauty supply store or online. You can Google it and a few stores will pop up. And for the maintenance of this hair, I recommend washing it every week. Like I said, if it's a quick weave, you probably don't need to wash it if you're wearing it for two weeks. However, I'll probably wash mine because the bang is in my face. When you wash the hair roll, it would kind of lose its curl pattern a little bit, but you can just bump it with a curling iron or a flat iron to have the curls return. And be extra careful when you're washing a wig that has glue on it from a glue gun. And I think that's about it. You can style this so many different ways. You can comb it to the side. You don't have to have these layers. If you did want to cut the hair and make your own style, I say go for it. I just wanted to have this video suitable for beginners and show that you really don't have to know how to cut to achieve a flawless bob. I did try cutting like a half an inch or an inch in the front to see how that would look. But other than that, this style is really simple. I did forget to do a final comb through. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more style inspiration, follow Altre's YouTube channel and their social media. I will leave that and other important information in the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and comment if you liked. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.